Well, this is a pretty typical scenario out here. You'll have this beautiful wildflower meadow. Like I had next to my campsite, I just couldn't see it from the campsite. I had to walk a few feet. Actually, there's a deer out there in the fog. Maybe you just saw it move. But yeah, back to the typical scenario. Here's a nice campsite. Trailer there. No vehicles. It's a Sunday. Nobody around. What the locals do that live in town is they end up bringing their vehicles up here and because it's a 14 day stay they simply haul them up and don't use them and they're occupying the campsites. Now they also get together in groups of three, four, five or family members and what they do is they swap out sites. So when they're getting close to their 14 day limit they simply, Fred takes Joe's camper over to his place and Joe's goes over to Fred's and they can keep it up basically all summer and uh, what really needs to happen at these places up here is they need to blow in 500 more campsites up here on this particular property alone and you still wouldn't be close to each other if they did it right if there was ever going to be an Obama era shovel ready project uh, all you'd have to do is take 3,000 people out of the city of Chicago that have been shooting each other at each other for three decades and teach them how to run a chainsaw bulldozer and arrange rocks in a circular pattern for fire pits. Easy peasy I guess. Never gonna happen though.